Hi everyone, welcome back. So I, um, as in the last two and hopefully going forward, this is how I will showcase the Glimmer and Cut Spellbinders Club kits that I get um, each month. And um, yes, this one's <laughs> arrived a little late, but that's okay. Um, and I have the, this is the large die of the month for July 2023. Um, they had a whole Christmas thing for July. So um, this has a lot. It's called Stocking Full of Joy, which I think is so cute. And you have a little gnome that can hang out of the stocking. How cute is that? Um, there's a little gingerbread man. Uh, what's this thing called? Candy... I need to say candy floss. Candy cane. <laughs> um, and lots of florals that will work with, and there's a sentiment as well, that will work with the, the stocking. The stocking has a little hanger. There's also a sort of the top and the, the cup, sorry, what's this called? The cuff, and then the two sort of heel and toe pieces that will go on there. Um, and lots of extra little um, details that will be for the gingerbread man, the candy cane, the gnome, um, all those different little accent pieces. And then also I believe one of, one, there's two types of dots here, and they make up the berries on here, and also on the uh, which one's which? Holly mistletoe, <laughs> and um, you can use them for the gingerbread man as well. So this is the sort of thing that you could make with it. How stunning is that? I just love it. It's so cute. But obviously you can use all of those together like that, or you can use them all separately, or you could have three different stockings with different things in them and make like a a long card or a tag or something like that. So. Stay tuned in this video and we will make something with it. So onto the card, I've used the Scandinavian Christmas to emboss some navy cardstock, um, keeping this super simple. And I have a little card here, a little note card. I think it's about an A2 size, don't quote me on it, <laughs> so, um, but it's roughly that size. And then I've just got some paper here that I'm going to grab my Uncharted Mariner Distress Ink. And I'm going to ink around the edges of this cardstock and just get some cool colour on there. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Um, so I'm inking up the edges. It will create almost like a highlight in the centre of the, um, the embossed panel. And I just think this is a wonderful way to, to highlight that. Um, cardstock and the embossed detail and and the main focal image that you've got on that card piece it just makes such a difference and yes this will dry back a little lighter but i just think it's so cool so now i have most of my pieces are all sort of stuck together i just need to decide where i'm putting everything and this is where the kind of fun bit <laughs> comes in <laughs> you have to kind of work out where you want all those parts and pieces that you've you know die cut and you know put together um it's now time to actually put the you know bring them all together so that they create this wonderful card that you're going to give to somebody who will appreciate it so i'm getting my stocking on there first and i'm not going to stick it down proper because i need to be able to go in the top part of it oops in the top part of it to pop in all these different um you know the holly and the mistletoe and i've got a uh, gingerbread man and look at that that's so cute um and i've got a couple of candy canes so this is a very simple one this isn't you know there's still the gnome that's in this set as well um but i've used and you know i've used a few elements from it that i thought would work i actually used the gnome on another card so either that's already up or <laughs> um and you can go and check that out or it's um you know on its way to be <laughs> being uploaded <laughs> so i'm just again i'm not popping these down completely i'm just getting some adhesive on so that they start to adhere and then i will get um i will stick them down properly once i have uh, all the pieces in place and where I want them so getting my candy cane in there and also making sure that where I'm putting them on on what would be the inside of the 
um, stocking, making sure that I'm not, they're not sticking out in a, at a weird place on the edge so that it doesn't look like they're randomly there. So they look like they're actually in the stocking coming out of the stocking. If that made any sense. Um, <laughs> Uh, just so that it doesn't look so weird <laughs> when they come in out of the stocking. So I've got some holly in there and I'm going to add some more holly down here. Some of it is decorative, so it's not necessarily coming out of the stocking itself. But I wanted the gingerbread man for sure and the, um, the candy canes to look like they were actually in the stocking. Um, so... Once I've done all that, I got them in place. It did take me a little while, I will admit. I've added some extra foam to like the candy canes and the handle on the um, the stocking. And then the anything excess hanging over the edge of the um, of the card, I'm going to just cut off. I just think that sort of makes everything come together somehow. <laughs> Um, it just looks more put together. I don't know why, but it just does. So once I've done that, I'm going to add this to the card base. So I'm just using some wet adhesive. Um, I like this when I'm using things like um, embossing folders, especially because it just helps to bond that. You've got lots of, you think about that paper, it's not smooth anymore. It's got lots of dips in it. Um, so making sure that you can actually get it on the card and stuck in place um, so it doesn't pop off. So if you're using a, a, a dry adhesive, um, then yes, you can still use that, but just add extra to it. Make sure it's around the outside edges especially. So while that's bonding to the paper, they have it in a moment, I'm going to add some... Uh, can't think of the word. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, I'm going to add some Nouveau crystal drops. That's what I want to do. Uh, so I think I'm going to take my white blizzard, uh, which is nearly out. I actually need to order another bottle of it. Um, and I think I use some glossy accents. I really need to put these cards next to me <laughs> when I'm doing this. But I'm going to use some white blizzard on the word joy, which is also a die cut um, in the set. Um, I actually layered that, I die cut it twice, so it's a double layer of, joy, of the word joy, just so it gives a bit of dimension. So I'm going to add uh, some of the Nouveau crystal drops to this word, and then I think I just add sort of around the, the foot and heel of the stocking, I add a bit more there. Um, again, all these little touches like this will add extra, um, you know, sparkle and stuff to your cards, especially around the holiday seasons. Um, I just think glitter and Christmas and tinsel and I, I hate tinsel. <laughs> let's, let's, let's just have that conversation. I hate tinsel with a passion. Can't stand the stuff. My husband loves it. <laughs> so every year there's like this... It's not an argument, but there's always this little this debate about tinsel, and I hate the stuff. Um, I, and Lametta is even worse for me. <laughs> I'm like, nope. Uh, yeah, we actually don't do the Lametta anyway because my cat tends to eat anything that looks like string. So, um, <laughs> so we do we don't do that on purpose now for good reason. Um, but yeah, I hate tinsel. I can't stand the stuff. Um, I hate what it looks like. I just hate everything about it. I like the shimmeriness and the shininess of it, but I do not like that stuff. Can't stand it anyway. So we we have more grown-up <laughs> decorations, in my opinion, um, on the tree. So uh, yeah, anyway, that's just a funny five minutes. So back to the card. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm adding all the... Uh, the bits of like the glitter to different parts of the um I added some to the gingerbread man as well and like I say the stocking but I I like the shininess and I like all this the glitteriness and the festiveness of everything uh Christmas 
Um, so I'm using the, the Morning Dew, which dries clear. It's also a Nouveau product. Um, I'm going to use that on the berries, I believe. Um, again, just adding some more shine and some shimmer and some glitter and, you know, that kind of thing. Or do I? <laughs> Maybe I don't. <laughs> yeah, I think I do. Um, so, yeah, I, lo I love all that. I love that whole thing. And I, and I think for me, like the like the white blizzard is kind of aptly named um that whole thing when it snows it just gives you that glittery shiny i oh, just i'd love it i mean who doesn't i mean i know there are some that don't celebrate christmas and i get that but even just winter when you've got white snow oh heaven it's like my favorite time of year so anyway all that rambling about tinsel um there we have it it's a very, very simple card, but there's lots of die cuts and you can make these look so, so cool. So once those crystal drops and that dry, you will see even more glitter um, and shine on those little berries. And I just love it. Isn't it just cute? So yeah, um, I do think it's a little top heavy, <laughs> but I still love it. So someone's getting that. So until next time, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Bye for now.